see if we can get this thing off the truck. Or more, more appropriately, let's see if we can get out of the truck once I back it up into the lift. Oh, hey, guess what? I didn't turn the battery on. Let's turn that guy on. Okay, yeah, and that's exactly where I need to be to not be able to get out of the truck. And, yeah, well, that's why I climb out the window. All right. I'm gonna take these mirrors off once I lift this thing up they will not clear the stairs the ladder should have thought of that before but i didn't actually so that means i can run it up tilt the front a little bit pick the back up put it on blocks slide those in oh yeah that's what we'll do grab some four by fours Now we just climb back in the truck and pull it out. It's like Dukes of Hazards in reverse. <laughs> well, we've got it off the truck and we've got it ground. Some of the welds at least partially ground down and cleaned up. We'll have to come back in and fill in. There's some a little bit of spatter that we need to fill in but we'll come back and do that with the TIG so it makes it nice and pretty instead of the MIG where I can't really control the juice on it too well. Truck's all naked over there. So now it's time to put a dance floor on this thing. Shockingly enough, this uh, thing's not too heavy. It's uh, actually only probably about 170 pounds, maybe 135 pounds, because I can move it pretty easy by myself, just putting a board across underneath the bottom and picking it up, moving the whole thing. So let's uh, set you up and put up a dance floor. So we just got a two by four. We made a crossbar here. And then another one in the back, which we left loose. So we can just mount crossbar, or a uh, bar in between. And we're gonna go from these guys to the middle, join in, and hopefully we can get it all janked in there and then snap it down into place and hopefully everything's measured up well enough that it lines up. And yeah, we'll be good. If not, that's where people laugh. This is what happens when you take a step back, trip over a radio, and jam your tungsten into your weld. And your welding rod. <laughs> All right, guys. So I went and bought five sets of lights from Trax Off Grid. And you get, with the light kits, you get uh, two indescript brown boxes. And in those brown boxes, you get all this stuff. So you get all the mounting hardware, and then you get uh, you know the two lights, which are pretty nice. They're only about a half inch tall and about six inches wide. And then you get a pretty decent little detent switch, and then a uh, 40 amp DC uh, relay with a nice little 30 amp fusible link, and then about eight feet of wire between the relay to the light mounting wires which i will probably not use i will be using my own and then from the relay switch to the actual physical switch you get a linked about six and a half foot cable now that we've got all these out um one of these things is not like the others this poor guy right here kind of missed the quality assurance program a little bit 
So, but we can make that work. We'll just rebend this little piece here because it doesn't really matter that they're all powder coated because I'm gonna have to re take the powder coating off in order to weld these tabs to the, uh, to the roll bar. All right, test fitting it back on the truck. Got it pretty much lined all back up. Seems to want to be just fine. The upper brackets are sitting about a sixteenth of an inch off of the hole. So I think as I did all, poured a ton of heat into this thing, it just kind of warped in just a, just a tiny bit. Nothing that can't be overcome, but I'd kind of like to think, I think once I get this thing back off the truck, I'm gonna put a hydraulic press in between those two beams and just bend it apart just a just a hair on front and back. That way it'll set in there and I can put a like a little eighth inch or sixteenth inch rubber spade, rubber pad in between the truck cab and the and the uh, roof rack. But yeah, that's uh looking pretty good. I think what I'm gonna do before I take it back off the truck is I'm gonna weld the uh, brackets in. The accent pieces. I'm gonna put I'm actually gonna weld these guys in there. Line them up so that they're good and lined up with the truck so that'll look I think that'll look a little bit more finished than uh, just leaving them squared off all right guys so we got this thing pulled off the truck upside down on the rollers so that we can come in and actually get to finishing up these welds and then we're gonna weld uh, some caps on here I gotta make those and then uh, also I will uh, show you real quick how I added an extra day's worth of work to the restoration project of the truck. Because if you notice, as I was pulling the rack off, can't really see it on camera, but there's a ever so slight dimple right there. So I pinstriped the, <laughs> pinstriped the side of the truck with the rack as well as Put a little bit of a dent in here so we'll be uh luckily enough this will be covered by the plate but we're going to pull that all out hammer it all nice and straight get the panel off of here make sure this is all flush and then probably skim coat it with uh, some bondo or something after we peel the the door panel off and uh peel all the paint off but uh that's okay because we've got to fill all the radio holes and everything as well so We've got some body work to do to this thing before we can repaint it and figure out how to, uh, part of me really wants to put some structural structural reinforcement in here to kind of straighten these guys out because, man, they're just warped. This side's not too bad, but the driver's side is hideous. So, all right, that'll be in a later episode. So, I want to open these up a quarter of an inch. Well, not a quarter of a quarter of an inch. I want to open these up at least an eighth of an inch because I want to put an eighth of an inch gasket in here on this face against the truck. And these things are like on the truck. So I want to just open this up just a just an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch and then be able to fill that in with gasket material and Syncoflex. See if we can just jack it open with a 20 ton jack. Okay. All right, let's put the floor on this dance floor. Oh, I don't know how well this is gonna work, but we're 40 inches here, and this should be 49. And it's gonna be... All right. Yeah, I'm gonna bring that all the way out here. 
That way I can bend these down along the edge, weld them along the edge, give me some more strength, and a nice flat surface to walk on. All right, let's put it back on the truck and slice it off at 70 and a half. Oh, shit. That's not going to work. Just move. All right, I have to pull the truck out. Yeah, we just cleaned up that edge by throwing a piece of stock on there, clamping it down, and then grinding along the end just to get the uh, ends all lined up because this thing sits just a little funky. And we'll do the same to this side here. So we'll weld these pieces here, and then we'll run a bar down there, and we'll slice off this chunk. You can see that I'm debating on heating it up and folding it over so it gets a little bit more strength, but I don't think there's going to be much more strength there to grab. But we'll see. Here we go, we got the dance floor mounted on it. We're already using it for storage. <laughs> so that was a nice finger in the middle of that. Obviously using my cell phone. So next step is to uh, get the hole drilled on that side for the electrical to go through. And then we're gonna sandblast this whole thing, paint it, touch up any of the spots that we missed as far as like cleaning up the uh, welds, clean up some of those booger welds. And then, uh, yeah, we'll uh, paint the truck after we do some body work and we'll get it put back on. Hey guys, I hope you like this one. Uh, work's got me down here in the land of the alligators, home of the mouse for the next week. So hopefully when I get back into the Seattle area, I'll get this thing uh, sandblasted up and finished up and back on the truck. Uh, we got some body work to do first and some painting to do and eh. Let's just get this thing sandblasted, painted so that it doesn't rust into a pile of rubble before I get this thing back on the truck. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Say what you liked about it. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment what you didn't like. And, you know, I'm doing this to be a better videographer and, you know, doing this for myself. So, Lord knows I'm not making any money off of YouTube. So, leave a comment and say what you didn't like about it. And we'll see if we can't change it in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.